You're listening to Big Chris here on the scene of Blast 106, Belfast most music station. I'm sitting here live again with the bank. I see you know what's happening. Hello. All right, lads. How's it going? How's it going? Going very well. We're going good so far. All good, lads. <laughs> so, have you any good advice out there for local bands and singers? Well, firstly, I would say that uh, get out there and play open mic nights if you can. You know, there's good ones down at Lavery's on a Wednesday night, Kitty Daly's on a Thursday. I think the John Newt used to be on a Monday as well. Um, but that definitely for live experience, get down there. And even, you know, three or four people, you can bring a small drum if you want, if you're a percussionist. They'll plug in a bass for you. Whatever you want to do, basically, it's just good to get the experience. So, Naz, have you ever uh, done, like, um, singer-songwriter nights or sales in? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, me and yeah. Andy and myself have done them in Katie Daly's libraries on Wednesday and Thursday nights. Would there be many that would actually get up and start playing in front of everybody, or would it just be, like, only a select number of bands or singers? Like four, five, six. Uh, depends on the nights. Sometimes there could just be two. But uh, it's like you don't be intimidated. Everyone knows what they're coming, you know, to see and to hear, and you just get up and you do it, you know. Um, but it is definitely the best way to get live experience and then to meet people as well. Yeah, and get feedback from different people yeah, as well. Meet people on the scene. Uh, after that, then um, things like you know setting up a, a website, getting MySpace and uh, Reverb Nation, getting a Facebook page. You know, if you get over 25 fans on Facebook, you, you, you get your, set up your own Facebook website and um, definitely getting out there and promoting it and always updating that. And if you're a band, get everyone in the band to update it. You know, just not one person doing all the work. Everyone should be logging on as often as they can, you know, updating. Yeah, just happening. giving them feedback as much as they can, yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're constantly updating our Facebook page and so on and uh, you know, updating links and you know, all of us taking turns to do that. So, um, I think the most important thing in a band to do is to get a good set of, lad, a good set of, lad, of lads together in the first place. Mm. You, you, you have to go through a few, a few um, band members before you get <laughs> to see how you, you get going, you know. So how did you meet them? Well, I went to school with Charlie here on the base. Enough, yeah. um, we just decided to start a band. And we only had two members, so recruiting people was a bit of a problem and then I met Marty then uh, one night out um, just sort of got talking about music and sort of like you know similar bands and so on and you know just really stemmed from there then we just got together and had a couple of jam sessions and then we decided just to you know go forward with it you know at, at times um, you, you might end up a band member short and for, for a while we actually we um, stopped but we, we hadn't given up we were still looking and eventually found a full band and I just got going you know yeah. I, I met Andy through, shouldn't give up. I met Andy through work actually. Um, Andy was a sort of singer songwriter and uh, heard his debut EP and uh, sort of like what I heard and he just came along and uh, started from there. It was you know about uh, for a year. Two and a half, two and a, two and a half years yeah. ago it was May two thousand and nine. So and we never looked back. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> just keeping that lads, it's me I think. Yeah, <laughs> so what would have been your favourite and least favourite venues? Favourite, favourite first, obviously. Well, the big house or on the Ormer Road. Or the pavilion. It's, really well, I, the, it's a funny one, that. The like, pavilion, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you um, want to call it. But, yeah. It's, it's, our, it's our home ground. ground. Oh, yes, it's our home. That's our home ground. We played the bunker once, which was good, but then they took it away. Uh, so uh, we didn't really get a chance to experience the bunker as, as well as we would have liked. Did you just hear good feedback about it then or what there? About the bunker, uh, uh, we did. But when we played it, it was good. It was a good setup, you know, the, the way the, where the people were positioned in front of you. The, you know, whenever they applauded and whenever they cheered and whatever, it, it, you know, you could hear and feel the appreciation. Uh, it was, it was a good setup. But um, definitely the pavilion. I mean, that's where we play the most of our gigs now. Is the pavilion, including the ones that are upcoming in, in November. So there's one on the third uh, of November. Um, and there's one on the 26th of November, both, both on the middle floor in the pavilion. So I'd like to encourage everyone to come down and, and uh, have a listen. And if you like what you hear tonight, come down and see us. Bye, see you now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your MySpace or Facebook and all? Have you released any songs for people to actually download and listen to? Absolutely. Yeah. The website is www.casino-band.com. Uh, and a hyphen the minus thing 
um, and um, you can take a link to the iTunes from that. But we have other we have other ones as well. There's Reverb Nation. Yeah. Um, and then which... MySpace. So it's Reverb Nation forward slash Casino N A or Casanoni. Casino seems to be taken up by a lot of uh, casinos, obviously. Mm. So um, we're stuck with, uh, we put in NA at the end. So it's Reverb Nation forward slash Casino NA and myspace.com forward slash Casino NA. And then the same on facebook.com forward slash Casino NA. Twitter at Casino NA. I'll tell you what, you get lost with the amount of websites. You may as well just open a wee dictionary. Put in the yellow pages. <laughs> Uh, we've got a question in there question to Casino who would you consider rating would, oh sorry would you consider rating a song in celebration of Man United winning a record 20th league title absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> somebody who knows <laughs> us has obviously put in that I question think, I, I think I know I think I know who did, did that um, what are you Liverpool not, fans absolutely yes 100% uh, you'll never walk alone <laughs> sorry, sorry about that that's a live song we're playing by the way <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's going to end up this season <laughs> um, next question. <laughs> <laughs> I must have hit the wrong spot there. Didn't I? So let's tell us a bit about the first live song he's going to do for us. So it's going to be back to me. Yep. Um, a song, a poppy song. I think maybe most commercial, if we could use the word. Yeah, well, it's been compared maybe to something like what the Food Fighters would come out with, and we added to the set about four or five months ago. Um, so. Um, well, we like it, so I hope you do. Go ahead, lads. One, two, three, four. Tell me it's alright Saying that there's no need to worry Trying everything to get inside my head Tell me sometimes Saying that there's no need to hurry Saying everything it's messing with my head It's all coming back to me now It's all Up to the sky, there's things to see, so I can tell you it's all coming back to me now. times You fool me and you led me astray Now I look at myself I have to say
but you have nothing to say Feel that I'm losing my faith in you Tell me someday to the sky The things you say so I can't tell you it's all coming back to me now Det er godt, det er godt.